I can reject you and lose my daughter. Or I can welcome you into our lives and keep my daughter. Okay, so what's it going to be? Well, I always choose Bianca. I choose the latter, Frankie. So I... I will help you in any way that I can. As long as you truly... As long as you really feel for Bianca the way she feels for you. <clears throat> what does that look like exactly? I really don't have a clue. But I do think the first step is to stop being adversaries. So I accept defeat. I think that I've accepted graciously. How about you? Can you be a humble winner? We'll save the handshake for another time. Look, I just... I just didn't know what... Oh, Frankie. I get the feeling that you're not used to kindness. In fact, maybe that's one reason you have attached yourself to my daughter. Hey, like I said, I'm not out to hurt her, okay? But love hurts. A lot of the time, Frankie, love hurts very, very much. Hi, sweetheart, hi. hi. Did you uh, make us all some tea? Oh, yeah, it's steeping downstairs. I'm glued in this room. Frankie, would you like to tell Bianca what happened, or would you like me to? I know that I threw a lot out there for you, Frankie, so if that's fine, I'll, I'll tell you. What is it, Mom? Frankie and I had a very honest conversation while you were gone. About what? She eavesdropped on us. What? When? Before. You, you listened in on my private conversation. It was an accident, huh? Mom, eavesdropping is not accidental. It is totally intentional. That was a really, really private moment. Look, I... Uh, I stayed and listened to you tell Frankie uh, that you... about your feelings. That I love her. You can say it, Mom. You heard it. I didn't mean to lose. I really didn't. I came up here because I was going to speak to both of you. And when I got to the door, I heard what you were saying to Frankie, and then I was going to walk away, but I, I couldn't. She guess it was like a train wreck. Couldn't take her eyes off of it. Yeah. I'm sorry, honey. I really am very, very sorry that I intruded into your purpose. But I am not sorry. You know how I feel, but after I heard you say the things that you did to Frankie about how you feel, well, how I feel about you two being together, this just has no way to... What are you saying? I'm saying that if you actually, if, if you truly, I mean, in fact, if you do... Love Frankie. Then I have no choice but to understand that. What is what does it that mean to you? I will. I will. Welcome Frankie as best I can into our lives and into yours. That's all there is to it. Yeah.
she is one big mama. <laughs> oh, really? I mean, I know she's small and all, but she is one huge woman. She really is. Jeez, what an act. You think that was an act? What, you don't? Frankie, I, I, I know my mom really well. She was really trying just now. I mean, big time trying. So you actually believe that she all of a sudden likes me? No, no, not at all. But you just said... I'm not an idiot, Frankie. I know that. But my mom... She doesn't want me to be gay. But... She accepts that I am. In a weird, convoluted way. And, and she gets love. She does. She, she gets love. She, she may be wrapped up in her own straight little world in her head, but... She loves me, Frankie, and she's not going to push me away by hating me. Okay, but you just said... No, I said that she didn't just wake up and start liking you, but she's going to deal with you. Come on, just the idea of, of my having a girlfriend would totally freak her out. Frankie, you need to chill. Me? Yeah, you. I'm, I'm just talking here. I'm trying to wake out because I called you my girlfriend. Look, can we just, um, relax and just be glad that she's not going to try to keep us apart? I, I'd love to, but I, I, I don't get you, you. You're so easygoing. Me? I'm so not. I just, I know what battles to, to fight with her. Can, can we stop talking about my mother? Yeah, I guess, uh... So, what do you want to talk about? Crack me up. Hey, that's why I'm here, for your amusement. Okay. I admit it. I, I don't know how to answer your mom. I mean, I can't just shake her off like you do. Okay. So, do you mind if I try to change the subject? Yeah. Go ahead. Okay, um, I decided something when I was downstairs making tea before. There's tea? It's probably cold by now. You oh, want to no, go? forget about the tea. I, uh, I want to talk about us. Okay, what do you want to talk about? Us? Frankie, I don't want to pressure you at all. I know you don't. And, and I know that what I said to you before about the way I feel about you, that, that could feel like pressure. Yeah, I guess, but I know you didn't, you know, mean to do anything like that. Mm -hmm. This could be too much then. <laughs> what? You, what you were thinking about when you were downstairs? Yeah. What is it? <laughs> Alright. I know that you don't know how you feel about everything yet. something that I want to give you. Like what? Oh, my God. <laughs> this is from my father. And he was a totally amazing person. And, um, and I know that he was totally cool about me, even though I never got a chance to tell him who I was before, before he died. And so I... I don't think that, that he would have a problem if we changed the pictures when you were. Yeah, you can, Frankie. Please, I... Listen, I don't, I don't need to be reminded that I'm loved. I know I'm loved. But you, you do. You need to know that, that somebody loves you. That I love you.
did it. You and Danny. I prayed for so long for Mom to understand who I am, and she finally gets it. Mom! Oh, Bianca, look, I swear, I had no 